Okay, today I want to do a quick video for uh, the beginners out there, for people who are just now getting into ServiceNow, or maybe your company has implemented ServiceNow, and I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks regarding list views. So here I'm logged in as a regular ITIL user, that's just a regular licensed service desk kind of user, and I'm logged into my dev instance. So I'm going to go to incidents, and this is what's called a list view. Now, you can get these for any uh, table that you have access to in the system, and they all function pretty much the same way. I'm going to show you the incident list because it's probably the most common that you're going to look at. All right, so that's what a list view is. It's just a list of records in the table. All right up here we have our header bar shows us what table we're looking at gonna have some quick search options uh, that's gonna be different based on the table that you're on uh, we can look at this in a v activity stream and these are your paging buttons right so pretty standard web functionality there for a list alright so when you're looking at a list view uh, there are several different things you can do. Uh, so all of these columns are uh, sortable by simply clicking on them. Right? Pretty standard functionality there as well. Right? You can also choose the sort options out of the little hamburger menu. Um, you can also use a group by so you can group by any of these fields if you want to and that's going to show you something that looks like this so we can see we have 17 priority one and four so popping them open is going to show you a list like that looks good not bad now let's say that uh, I have a situation where I want to see a column in here that's not on this default list view so I can always click this little gear icon and here you can see that I have access to uh, pretty much all the fields on the table right if I if I wanted to if I want to see impact let's say I could add that now when I do that that pretty much creates my own personal view of this list and impact is going to show on that list every time I uh, open this. If I want to reset to column defaults I can just open this, press the reset button and I'm back to the default. All right, uh, one of the things you'll see I'm, I'm viewing uh, 20 records at a time here now. I don't know about you guys but I find that pretty annoying. What I like to do is right click up here and go to show 100 rows per page. Now I've got all 36 of my active incidents here showing, right? Uh, up here we have this filter icon that allows us to open up this filter and we can start running uh, additional searches. Uh, so this one obviously is showing all active equals true. I can and or or additional uh, query parameters. But what I'm going to do is show you another uh, kind of a quick way to get through that. So let's say I want to see well, I want to see all critical, right? Instead of coming in here and going filter and priority is critical, right? could certainly do it that way but hey, you'll notice here on this breadcrumb I can just simply click back uh, through the breadcrumb trail to get back to where it was you can simply right click on the value and choose show matching or conversely you can right click on the value and filter out that's 90% of how I deal with list views are filtering out and showing matching. Um, 
very lovely little time saver. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to my little priority ones, right? I'm going to show matching here. And I've got a list of all my priority one incidents. And let's say that I want to save this. So there's two kind of options. We can save it here by pressing the Save Filter button, give it a, give it a name. Right? Save it. And now, whenever I'm looking at a list view of incidents, uh, whether or not it's all or just the opens, I could pull this and come to my personal filter and pop it there. That's a little time consuming. It's not really the way that I like to do it. What I like to do is actually click the end of my thing and hold and drag it and you can drag it over to your navigator bar and now it's a favorite. So you can set up favorites like in this manner for all sorts of things. If I want, there's my priority ones that are on hold and you can start building these out and let's say you get tired of them you can just minus them out here. That's my favorite way of saving a favorite query is to just click and drag it over here and I've got it now in my list of favorites. Right. And uh, one other quick one here is you need you might want to be able to export this list. Uh, so I showed you you can add all sorts of all, any of the columns that we want but once you set that up you can always right click here now it doesn't happen there notice that I have to kind of click in between in this white space here on the headers and then I get export to Excel CSV uh, JSON format or if I want to I can save it to a PDF but most people just want to go to Excel All right. All right, boom that's gonna give me a nice Excel file of uh, what I was querying. Pretty standard use. Of course, all this is covered in uh, some of the the uh, training that's available for ServiceNow. But I wanted to focus uh, particularly on list views because uh, I find this a great time saver with what you can do. Uh, in service now and I see a lot of beginners don't necessarily understand at least the show matching and filter out and that sort of thing. The other thing you can do here is uh, you can copy the URL to a query so if your boss says you know uh, you want to show a particular list or share it with somebody you can just copy the URL right and that's the URL for the query. So you can include that in an email, send it to somebody and say, here's the list of uh, incidents from this one particular customer who's given us trouble, whatever it is, right? Pretty handy features there. You can also uh, copy the query uh, if you want to do that, or you can open this into a new window. I like to have a list view opened in one window while I'm working on uh, another thing over here. All right, that's just a quick overview of list views. You know what I've covered. Uh, you can do with any list view in uh, ServiceNow, so it's not just incidents. It work. All of this same functionality is available no matter what you're looking at. You still have the same sort of abilities of show matching filter out and adding columns. A lot of power to list views. Just wanted to make sure our beginners out there understood how to use them and navigate through them.